Mount Sinai is now part of a national research team studying long COVID in black and brown communities. Jesse Mitchell covers Harlem and shows us how their groundbreaking work in a new clinic aims to find some answers. After Dora Louise Summers caught COVID two years ago, she never quite fully yeah. recovered. Brain fog, shortness of breath, feeling weak. You know the answer to it, but when you get ready to say it, it's like, Wait a minute. Summers recently found herself referred to Mount Sinai's new long COVID clinic in East Harlem, where Dr. Rachel Engelberg is studying the ongoing effects of the pandemic on underserved communities. Patients who were in Harlem and the Bronx were hardest hit by COVID during the height of the pandemic. These are likely the populations that are really bearing the brunt of long COVID now, and so there's definitely a need to reach those patients and get them into care. Mount Sinai is one of nine long COVID clinics nationwide now established Established and funded by the federal government for five years as they meet monthly to share their case studies. We can more formally standardize what the protocols are so that for the majority of doctors it's not such a confusing situation where you're not sure what to do, but maybe it becomes more algorithmic of how you approach the different symptom burden. Engelberg says while there's no cure or treatment standard yet, the team can help alleviate the ailments that come with long COVID. And if you're experiencing some of the same symptoms as Summers for three months or longer beyond your COVID diagnosis, see a doctor about your options. Take them seriously because other things can materialize behind that. In East Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS News, New York.